in this episode I will be teaching you how to secure your first base and essentially make it zombie proof. Now for this example I will be using the Rosewood fire station. You can make it any other base but preferably two floors because we will be using sheet ropes to make the base essentially zombie proof. If you do enjoy this please consider subscribing as it helps a bunch when we're trying to hit 600 by 2024. Now keep in mind I have got a modern stored which allows me to instantly craft and access a menu so I don't have to worry about materials. The first step that I like to do is I like to board up all of the possible entrances that zombies can get through. So for example, all of the windows on the first floor. Then on the inside, I like to make sort of airlocks. So if zombies do breach the first you know, door, they're stuck in there and they have to then breach through another door. It gives you just extra layers of defense to help improve the base as this first floor is not necessarily where all your loot is going to be. Your loot is going to be on the top floor which is safe and completely zombie proof. And then you should go to the places where you put your walls and put door frames in between or whenever wherever you need. Next go back through and completely build the walls preferably as high level as you can so try get that carpentry skill as high as you can so you can create those level 3 walls because those are the most safe and secure and well made. And I'll go back through and put all the doors down. Now you obviously you can do this in any order. You can make door frames right at the start and work from there. This is just the way that I've done it, but obviously you can do it your own way. Now obviously you'd like to make a perimeter wall so you can come out of your front door safely. So now this is a bit excessive and you do not need this big of an outer perimeter. However, this is something that you can do, preferably at the start when you're just starting off or you're new to the game. Make a small little perimeter out of log walls or just regular walls. You don't need massive amounts. Now, if you can, try keep every exterior wall in the building inside the compound. So as you can see here on the screen, I finished the log wall to the right of the window so zombies can't go directly to the window. They have to go through the log wall first and then to the window. Next, you're gonna to wanna to add a gate somewhere that's reasonable and sensible. So over here, I put it in the driveway to the fire station. And now a quick little tip, you can barricade both sides of the windows. So at the start of the video, I barricaded the exterior side of the windows, but now you can go back through and barricade the interior side of the windows. It gives it much more strength and zombies will have a harder time getting through it. Now, for example, on this base, we do have the big two garage doors. It's your choice whether or not to keep them because if you have a sledgehammer, you can destroy them. Now for this I like to keep it because I like to drive my vehicles inside the fire station. However if you want to keep them outside that is perfectly fine and you can just destroy these and get much more security as you can build a wall straight across. Now here comes the fun part and the thing that will make this second floor completely zombie proof. So the magic to this is sheet ropes. So now I go downstairs and I kind of visualise where if I place a sheet rope there where it will come down so as you can see how I'm running through what we've done so far and I realize it's going to come down in this office area so I quickly destroy all this and now I run back upstairs and if you have a sledgehammer now a sledgehammer is very important for this you need a sledgehammer what you can do is you can break a hole in the floor. So you break a hole in the floor. Be careful though, because your character can fall down through the hole. So as you can see here, I try and centralize the middle of the room. And now if I use my sledgehammer and break a hole through the floor, this is where the sheet rope will come down. Now, if you build a wooden wall frame next to it, now if you right click on the wall frame, and you click level 3 window. Now if you craft a sheet rope, you can place one on the window as you see I've done here. And now look, you can climb up and down completely safe. However, we want to make this completely safe because once you start climbing down, you have to go all the way down. So I quickly barricaded those windows up so you have a bit more security in case zombies break through on the first floor. However, I always like to be double safe. So. As you can see here now, 
I create some wooden walls and I once again create a airlock similar to what I'd done earlier so zombies won't be able to directly come straight through. Next, take a look around at your base and see if there are any weak points. Now for example in this base that I've got right now, these windows alongside here are very very dangerous because zombies can basically go straight through though and bypass that airlock because they can go through this window I'm barricading now into the classroom and then to the windows just a bit further down the hallway and jump through there. So I barricade this up and you should do the same if you see any vulnerabilities. Next I continue to look for vulnerabilities and I see that this window here is a big vulnerability because it's just one window from me and this door which is basically an interior door leading to the main hub of the first floor so I barricaded that door up just for a little bit extra protection and if you really want to you can add a little airlock around that door next you see me barricading these windows as this is obviously a vulnerability in case you are in there and zombies can just break straight through the glass however if you want to you can just open up this entire area as you can see me doing here Now, to completely finish this rope design base, we need to remove the stairs because the stairs are the only thing that zombies can now actually climb or you know go up to get to the second floor. However, please make sure to double check that you have correctly done the sheet rope because if you have not, you will have a hard time once you've broken those stairs getting back up if that sheet rope cannot be used. So go and double check quickly and then break the stairs now once you've done this you are the only thing that can get up and down or up into that second floor which means that you are completely safe up there however one thing you do need to be wary of is zombies can pull down sheet ropes now that is a big problem so what i like to do is i like to have three sheet rope like drop downs around the base just for that added security because if one goes down and you only have one you're stuck up there unless you want to literally drop yourself down into a zombie pit. So I go around the base and I find suitable spots where I think that I can also build an airlock and safely secure a drop down. And here I actually realised that you can place them on fences which I did not know. So you know, you learn something new every day. However I did find that the one I put on the fence did seem to tend to glitch out. Next I go look for the next suitable spot and I know just the place, a fireman's pole. Why wouldn't I have one here, it's just too good to not. So once again, wooden wall frame, then I put the window on it and then I place a sheet rope on the window. Now voila, I can get up and down this way now. Then I destroy the pole with the sledgehammer that I have and now obviously I realise a bit of vulnerability here so I build once again an airlock because airlocks are your best friend. Use them as much as possible because they're just another layer between you and the zombies wanting to eat you. Now the basics are done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to walk around the base. I'm going to show you the different things that I've done. So all the sheet ropes and escape routes. I hope you guys enjoy and there's a little something at the end for an added little extra fun bit which I hope the devs do not patch out because it is pretty funny to look at.
<laughs> Did you know that if you destroy all of the walls and everything supporting the structure, it will not fall down and you will have a literal sky base. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you enjoyed, see you next time, bye.